Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. This week, fixing up a California pattern holster. Also, a little history on it. So let's check it out. A few weeks ago, a subscriber who happens to live here in Tucson generously gave me a bunch of accessories for shooting my 1851 Navy. He also had a couple of well-used Slim Jim holsters that were starting to come apart. I offered to reconstruct them and fancy them up a bit. So, the first thing to do is get these older torn stitches out so I can replace them, then get home where I have my leatherworking stuff. Due to time constraints, I'll just do one in this video. My plan is to add some suede fringe coming out of the seam and some decorative stamps on it. That should give it a neat frontiersman look. While working, I'll give you some history of the Slim Jim holster. I found some deerskin that will make a good fringe, and the color is pretty close to the holster. The craft mat made an excellent tool to measure out the fringe cuts, and after that, the strip was glued to the seam. Not bad. Now, to figure out some stamping. In the mid-1800s, the revolving belt pistols appeared on the scene and hugely impacted both military and civilians. The soldiers were issued holsters, usually with a flap enclosure to protect the firearm from the elements. Civilians had to get their own. Brother, you don't know a nicer occupation. Matter of fact, neither do I. Saddle makers in Northern California understood the need for citizens to protect themselves from the rapscallions that frequented the mining districts. They started churning out holsters that were similar to what the military was producing. A contoured holster with a belt loop that firmly secured the revolver was the style. The flap seen in the military holster was not extremely popular in the civilian market. In fact, less than 1 in 10 holsters produced out west had that flap. The lawlessness was so concerning that the gun owner would rather have instant access to his firearm. Hi, Mr. Crow. Can I get your autograph? Some flap holster owners would cut it off for this very reason. California-style holster's popularity made its way to the other Western territories quite quickly. Incidentally, we also call it the Slim Jim today, which rolls off the tongue better than California pattern holster. What's it like living without the internet? All right. Early in the period, we see elaborate tooling and stamping that definitely added that fanciness to the holster. The belt loops could be configured so that you could carry it strong side straight down your leg or cross draw. Some folks also fancy that cavalry draw we've shown on here before. You'll notice the belt loop on this is canted at an angle that suggests a cross draw. Well, that will do nicely for this fringiness I'm making. The California pattern holster wasn't just for percussion models. In the 1870s, when the newer Mexican loop holsters appeared, we still see Slim Jims being made. In fact, catalogs didn't begin to show their decline until the 1890s. So, now that this is complete, I think I'll throw it in the old walnut hull mess for a little added color. Here is the finished piece. I'm happy with the way it came out. Now, Slim Jims are not hard to find on the market these days. There are fancy ones and economical ones. If you are a beginning leather worker, it's a good project to start with because it doesn't use as much leather as a Mexican loop style. In future videos, we'll attack some other holster styles, so stay tuned. Hey, Santi. Hey, Batjack. Did you bring it? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Slim Jim. I meant the holster, not the meat stick. That's original beef. Yeah, I, I know, but I can't put a gun in it. I mean, you know, it's not oh. a holster. It's Probably was. Could have been a holster before it was Slim Jim. Whatever. You <laughs> just, just take it. Just keep it. Just, just eat it. Oh, yourself. cool. Well, yeah. Score, man. Eleven grams of protein. Oh. You're either gonna have to give that to him or run. So. Anyway, folks, please like, share, and subscribe. Hey, and we'll see you on down the trail. Ha <laughs> ha.